Central and eastern Scotland will remain cloudy this afternoon with some rain. Southern Scotland, England and Wales will remain cloudy with a lot of rain in some places, although there are a few sunny intervals in southeast England. You must be kidding. You're joking. Uh, the highest temperature this afternoon is London, 11 degrees centigrade, 52 Fahrenheit, and the lowest at Berwick-on-Tweed, where it's only 6 degrees centigrade, 43 degrees Fahrenheit. Hot chocolate coming up next after Peter Powell. I've told you about that, Pete. And that's exactly what the International Music Show at Alexandra Palace, London, is all about. It's a shop window for the many different branches of the music industry. It's Radio 1. This afternoon, I'll be there with Richard Skinner and the Radio 1 Roadshow between 4.30 and 7 o'clock. We'll be looking around the show and meeting one or two special guests. Imagination will be popping along and Vangelis will be demonstrating some of the latest electronic instruments on display. So that's the Radio on Road show live from the International Music Show, Alexandra Palace, this afternoon at 4.30. Peter Powell, Radio 1, FM 88 to 91 megahertz and 275 and 285 is BBC Radio 1, Great Britain. pop record that is what kind of boy you looking for girl eight minutes past three well this show is almost as exciting as the snooker isn't it by the way you might like to know for this show there are subtitles for the educated on cfax page 174 <laughs> that's right and we've just heard we're just getting some news here that a man in lime regis has attached his pac-man computer game to his radio and has now eaten four of our djs <laughs> However, listen, a new month and a fresh week. I've got some fresh underwear on this afternoon. And what will be going on in our fair country in the foreseeable future? Well, I can tell you that this week, uh, in fact, today is World Meteorological Day. There's a big do in Switzerland to do with that. It's also Beautiful Britain Day, so please keep Britain tidy. And I'm telling you this is the truth. I know when you hear me say it, you're not going to believe it, but it's National Gnome Week. Uh, launched by the Gnome Club of Great Britain. I swear to you it's true. You'll be seeing it on the telly tonight. Wednesday is the Design Council Awards. What else we got going on? Thursday, of course, it's local council elections in England and Wales, and it's also the 1,000th edition of Top of the Pops. And Friday, a quicker method of breath testing uh, suspected drunk drivers comes into force. So watch out. And we'll have new unemployment figures on Friday as well. That is this week in Prospect. It's ten past three now. That's the new single from Robin Gay. Oh, Julia. That's right, new single from Robin Gibb called Juliet, 13 minutes past three, and a special request here from Audrey Robinson, who was recently on something called a psychosynthesis group at uh, NAPCAS at Manchester University. She says hello to Marilyn and Richard, also Dave and Dennis, plus George, Ken, Jean, Sally, Jeff, and Madeleine of the review group. NAPCAS is the National Association of Young People Counseling Advisory Services. Sounds like something Damien the social worker might go to. Hello to you lot. Well, listen, I don't know if you've heard our cinema manager on the air. Have you heard our cinema manager? It comes on. Ha hang on a sec. We're just trying to get through to him now. Uh, the reason I'm going to put him on is because I've got something to tell you. This is the Asado Multi-Screen Cinema Complex. Pleased to meet you. This is the manager, Fred Crosswell here, with the Entertainment Guide. Can you hang on a moment? Can, can you get you... I'm doing... Can you go out? Can you go out, please? Can you go out and take those with you? I've told you. I've, sa I've <laughs> said for two weeks running, keep out of here when I'm recording. That's easy to pieces. If you, don't, if you don't go out, there'll be trouble. Uh, I'm going to have to start again. I think you are, no, Fred. I've told you. I've, I've mucked up the tape. All right. Now go out. 
go out. 17 minutes past three is the time. Now, Fred has actually sent me um, the categories for the current films because there is a great deal of confusion about the movies now because they have new categories. And I thought, well, Bank Holiday is always a good day for the movies. So thank you very much, Mr. Crosswell, for sending me this, which says, Your films at cinemas now have new certificates from the British Board of Film Censors. So here they are for anyone who is still confused. Now, there's the U. That is the universal certificate remains the same, and films are passed as being suitable for all ages. PG is a typical American expression. Uh, parental guidance... Now, that replaces the old A certificate, but as before, a film with this certificate may include some scenes that may be unsuitable for young children. 15, this replaces the old double A certificate. That means that no persons under 15 years can be admitted when a 15 film is in uh, the program. And then there's 18, and now that replaces the old X certificate. That's 18 replacing the X, and no persons under 18 can be admitted when an 18 film is in a program. So now you know, OK? Is that all right with you? Thank you very much, Fred Crosswell. Don't forget, we're reviewing Tootsie tonight on Radio 1, 7 o'clock. Here, Trev. Here, Trev. Here, Trev. Here, Tootsie. Yeah. Tell me, Those human leagues... Keep feeling fascination. Now, here is one of the songs we will not be playing later. We will not. Thank you. Can you cut him off now? I'm afraid we won't be playing that. Well, the very wet weather today has given a lot of problems to drivers and surface water is a hazard this afternoon. Many minor roads in the Midlands and the west of England have been closed, especially where there are rivers. Uh, some flooding around the UK this afternoon, in fact. The M20 in Kent, there are roadworks at Hollingbourne, which are causing long delays for eastbound traffic travelling towards the Kent coast. And on British Rail, uh, this morning's problem on western region between Kendall and Stroud has now been resolved and train services will be back to normal in that area. And your lighting up times tonight, London 8.53, Cardiff 9.02, Glasgow 9.25 and Belfast 9.27. This Thursday, Radio 1 Stereo and BBC One Colour join together for the 1,000th Top of the Pops. Starting at 7 on Radio 1 in Stereo, I'll be finding out how that first Top of the Pops came about. At the time Top of the Pops started, everything was really right for a pop explosion anyway, so the timing was absolutely sensational. Then at 10 past 7, BBC One joins Radio 1 for a simultaneous broadcast of the 1,000th Top of the Pops. From 8 o'clock, we trace the history of 19 years of the Pops with producers, presenters and artists of the time. I used to stick the microphone right in front of my mouth so that no one could see that I was mine. The very first Top of the Pops was by far and away the biggest gamble of all the 1,000 editions. And our gamble turned out a 100% hit, thank goodness. So join us on Thursday at 7 for the 1,000th Top of the Pops. Radio 1 And it's still the number one pop show on television And rightly so In a moment, something for you folks who are in love mm -mm. You are my love and my life ah, yeah, yeah. Chicago and just you and me we're slightly more mellow this afternoon, playing one or two more mellow songs, because we have the FM, yeah? 27 minutes past three, Monday, May 2nd, 1983. A bank holiday, of course, in the UK. Leonardo da Vinci died today, 1519, leaving behind the world's most admired works of art, including... Come on, including... That's right, the Mona Lisa. Uh, once stolen in 1911, now safe and well in the Le Louvre in downtown Paris. In fact, we were there a couple of weekends ago. Well, a couple of months ago. And when you go there, you can actually rent a little mobile headset which suddenly gets into range as you get closer to the painting, which tells you all the Mona Lisa trivia you ever wanted to know in any language. Like, for instance, did you know that she has no eyebrows? <laughs> you know that about the Mona Lisa? It's true. I think she got the idea from David Bowie, although I don't know. The world non-stop rocking chair record was set today, 1977. Maureen Weston rocked for 18 days non-stop. And the late Bing Crosby, born today, 1901. All right, now, the news is next. If you're doing nothing this weekend, I just want to mingle. Sunfire, young, free and single, and I just love to mingle.
Just on 3.30, here's Matthew Bannister. Radio 1 News. An Irish trawler missing off Western Scotland since Friday has been spotted by the crew of an RAF Nimrod surveillance plane. The Ard Kana has a crew of five, as Nigel Robson reports. It was an Irish rescue helicopter which picked up the first faint radio call from the Ard Kana, which was then located by a high-flying RAF Nimrod reconnaissance plane. It pinpointed the trawler's position, and now an Irish Navy craft and two fishing boats are heading towards the scene. They are expected to rendezvous with the Ard Kana sometime this evening. According to a spokesman at Coast Guard Regional Headquarters at Greenock on the Clyde, the five men on the Ard Kana are well, but they've only enough fuel... ...that a cheap alternative to petrol could one day be provided by Peat. A German businessman has demonstrated an engine powered by turf dug from bogs near Dublin. That's it. Next news on Radio 1 at 4.30. <laughs> Thank you very much. She's obviously very shocked about that item. Notice the way we're so mellow this afternoon. That's Carlos Santana, who's come a long way since playing the chef in Crossroads. Remember that? Fabulous. Fantastic. He actually has his hair styled by Conan the Barbarian. It's 23 to 4, 23 to 4. And we have something now for people who are in love. Here, Steve! Let's hear some more stuff! Okay, right then. Love is good for your health. That's the happy news from doctors who've studied the effects of romance on your body and found that what you feel isn't only in your mind. Ooh. Being in love makes your... This is true. Makes your lactic acid level drop so you have more energy. Seeing the world through rose-colored glasses puts bounce in your step. You need less sleep, your heart beats faster, and your appetite falls so you can diet without even realizing you're sacrificing. <laughs> Gert, I'm telling you, it is the truth here. Incredibly, love is so healthy that... Uh, the love, the love struck get fewer colds because germ-fighting white blood cells perform better when a person's in love. Now, this is according to author Dr. Michael Libowitz. He says that your body feels different, more bouncy, more energetic, and in need of less food and sleep. So, fall in love, feel well, and feel thin. I say that's the most ridiculous thing I ever heard. But it's true. So the thing is, just go and find somebody to fall in love with, right?